Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about chemtrails, what they are, how we can protect ourselves from them, how we can clean our bodies of these heavy metals and nanoparticles, and how we can neutralize and clean the air around us from these incredibly toxic chemtrails that the government puts in the sky so that our immune systems will become lower we will continue to get more disease like cancers like Alzheimer's like diabetes it is endless these chemtrails are a lot of the time the root cause of a lot of these problems amongst many other things like genetically modified food and so on and so forth so chemtrails are basically sprayed in the sky there are these white lines and they consist of aluminium mercury yellow fungal spores radioactive fiberglass just to name a few there's a full list on google and you can find out all the ingredients that are being sprayed into the atmosphere that go into our food and water supply and that goes straight into our bodies when you do a google search you will find that the first three to four links are government based and they are discrediting chemtrails calling them conspiracies which is total BS as we all know it is real it is happening so when you do your research just make sure to skip the first four links which are put there on purpose by people that are controlling the shit and then you can really come to find out what they are why are they spraying these chemtrails in the world and they're being sprayed all over the world Africa Berlin, Paris, Miami, and especially in Portland, Oregon. Oregon has spraying on a whole nother level that I have never seen before. And the reason why I'm doing this video today is because today there is so many chemtrails in the sky that it has created a literal gray sheet. It is so bad. It's just turned into a sheet at this point. So, now that we've discussed what they are, what are inside of them, what do they do? They cause Alzheimer's because these heavy metals go into the body and they affect the brain. They create cancers. They cause diabetes. They can cause depression. I mean, it's endless the amount of disease that they cause. Basically, the government has been doing this for at least 20 years because they want to see a sick population. They are trying to depopulate the world right now because there are too many people for them to control. So the more people that get sick, the higher the health insurance rates go up, the more prosperous the hospitals become, and the more reasons they have to prescribe you these crap-ass pharmaceutical medications that also, ironically, contain heavy metals inside of them. So. Now that we know why they're being sprayed into the atmosphere, what can we do to protect ourselves? So organite is an incredible substance and it is created by combining heavy metals with resin and crystals. I'll attach a link below showing exactly how organite functions, but when you combine it with copper, which is an incredible transmuter of energy, this basically creates a healing vortex and this neutralizes all of the chemtrails in the surrounding environment. So on my balcony right now, I have organite pyramids with crystals on the end of them, and I have it surrounding the whole balcony. But the greatest part is the chem buster. Now the chem buster can clear chemtrails within a 31 mile radius. It's incredible. It is this right here that I have and basically at the root of it it is a grounding mat which you connect to your grounding circuit in your apartment or wherever so you have your grounding mat then you have your chem buster then I put crystals and copper five-foot copper pipes and then I put an organite pyramid at the very top and this creates an incredible organite field of healing energy. It is incredibly powerful. I have tons of videos 
showing how exactly it works and you can see the direct effects. It's instantaneous, it works wherever it is, and it's wonderful. So another way that we can combat chemtrails is by clearing out the biofilm from your gut and from your body. Biofilm is a bacteria that works in part with nanoparticles that are inside your body because we're all breathing it in and eating it and drinking it in our water supply. So basically, you can knock out the biofilm. I'll touch a video with more detail about that. But it's very simple. You just take a teaspoon of oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, and you put two drops of an essential oil. Make sure it's undiluted. It has no additives or synthetics inside of it. Of course, make it organic. And then you take two drops of that. It can be a thyme essential oil or rosemary. Eucalyptus works great, and this knocks out the biofilm in your body. Another way that you can clear yourself of chemtrails once they're inside of your body is by taking regular Epsom salt baths. Epsom salt is incredible for removing the heavy metals from your body, as well as bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is great in combination with the Epsom salt. And then you just add a little oil to your bath. You soak in it for about half an hour to 45 minutes. And when you get out of your bath, you can actually shine a light into the water and you can see these polymers, these, anti these nano particles that come out of your system, they always want to attach themselves to something and conglomerate. So you'll see them forming. That's why you put the oil in. You can see them wanting to form into something. So you'll see the oil moving in such a way. So that's another great way that you can eliminate them from your system. But the most profound way would definitely be to do the Andres Mortis liver and gallbladder flush. This is essential. It's within your liver, it's in your kidneys, it's in your gallbladder. So doing this flush and removing these toxic stones from your body, I'll do another video on that in detail, will also really help clean out your system. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention about how chemtrails affect our bodies is the nanoparticle technology that is inside of these actually rewire your DNA. They have been trying to rewire our DNA and to basically turn us into some fucking AI version so that we're a lot more easier and to be manipulated and controlled. They are slowly hybridizing us out of our human form. What can we do to stop them? To stop chemtrails? To stop this insanity of poisoning our skies and poisoning our animals and our water supply and our food supply? Stop paying your fucking taxes. More than 50% of your tax dollars goes to military and goes to all these chemtrails and how they are able to pay the pilots to put this shit in the sky. So get out of the system, stop feeding them so that they can continue to kill you, and then we will see an end to all of it. If we literally step out from under the pyramid, the pyramid will fall in on itself. It is society that is putting its energy into the pyramid being the pyramid. So we need to end all fucking governments. There have been nothing but wars but lies, but corruption for thousands of years. So let's fucking end the government and let's become sovereign beings and rule over ourselves with love, with kindness, with compassion. We don't need somebody telling us what to fucking do. Okay? So it's my video for this week. Uh, I'll put more information as to where the chemtrails the materials for the chemtrail ingredients are collected. Uh, it comes from coal ash, which is basically coal factories. They, uh, coal factories create coal ash, and instead of disposing it the proper way in which they should, they sell it for dirt cheap to these people that spray the chemtrails in the air, which is all government run. And, the, and then they spray it in the sky. So the origin of this is coal ash. So I think that's all I want to say. It was a lot of information. I hope you got the gist of it. Till next time.